Hi Flippers, Miss T here. Welcome to lesson three of my six lesson series of how to read an analog clock. This lesson is all about telling the time to a half hour or a half past time. So if you already know the parts of an analog clock and how to tell the time to hours, that's the o'clock times, then continue on with me. If you don't, go back and look at lesson one and or lesson two until you're all caught up so that then we can start learning how to tell the time to the half hours, the half past times. So in this lesson, we're going to learn where the minute hand needs to be for a half past time, where the hour hand needs to be for a half past time, and how to write that time and say that time for the half past or half hour times. So let's have a look at the picture here. When it's a half past time, the red minute hand will always point exactly straight down to the six. Look at the hour hand, that's the short one, the blue one, and you can see it's halfway between two numbers. So on this example, we have the four and the five. So our blue hour hand is halfway in between the four and the five. So the hour hand has gone past the four, that's the previous number, but it hasn't yet reached the five, which is the next number. So we need to use this number, the previous number, the four. So this time is half past four. Now that's often said also as 4.30. And the reason it is 4.30 is because like we learned in our introduction lesson, there are five minutes in between each of these numbers around the outside of the clock. So if we skip count in fives, starting at the top, just like we learned in our introduction lesson, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So our half past the hour times when the minute hand is pointing straight down to the six, they can also be said as a 30 minutes past the hour. Let's have another look together. So what time is it on this example clock flippers? Well, the minute hand, the red one, is pointing straight down to the six. And we learned with our skip counting that when it's pointing to the six, it's 30 minutes past or half past the hour. With our shorter blue hour hand, the hand has gone past the nine, but it hasn't yet made it to the ten. So it's still nine o'clock. So this clock is showing us half past nine or nine thirty. Time for you to have a turn by yourself. So have a look at the clocks, pause it where you need to, and then unpause it when you're ready to check your answer. So what time is it on this clock, Flippers? With the red minute hand pointing straight down to the six, and with the hour hand pointing halfway in between the eight and the nine, that means that it is half past eight or 8.30. Have another go. What time is it, Flippers? With the red minute hand pointing straight down to the six, and the short hour hand pointing halfway in between the two and the three, that makes it 2.30. How'd you go? Half past two or 2.30? Let's do another one. What time is it, Flippers? With the red minute hand pointing straight down to the six, that makes it a half past or 30. And with the hour hand pointing halfway in between the 12 and the one, then that makes it half past 12 or 12.30. 
12.30. Last one. What time is it, Flippers? With the red minute hand pointing straight down to the six, that makes it a half past or a 30 time. And with the blue minute hand pointing halfway in between the 10 and the 11, that means that it's half past 10 or 10.30. So how did you go today, flippers? So we've learned today that the minute hand needs to be pointing straight down to the six for a half past time. We need to, oh, sorry, we learned that the hour hand needs to be halfway in between two of the numbers on the clock. And when we read that time or when we say that time or write that time, we need to take the previous number. So that's the number that the hour hand has gone past to make our time for our clock. If you're not yet confident that you can read half hours on your clocks, go back to the start and watch the video again as many times as you need to, to make sure that you are super confident with this level of clock reading. And when you are super confident at reading clocks to the half hour, then you can join me for lesson four, where we learn how to tell the time to a quarter past the hour. Thank you for joining me today, Flippers, and I hope to see you next time on Miss T Flips Out. Bye.